been going these last couple of weeks. I think that uh, uh, when the season starts, you're kind of learning what you are and what works well, and you're figuring that out early in the year. And I think it was a good confidence boost the last couple of weeks to have games where we felt like we found a little bit of an identity um, in addition to our run game, which we saw early in the year. So hopefully we can keep that going. But you know, you start from zero every week, and you got to build it up, and you never know what what the game's going to call for or what you're going to be able to do well or what they're going to take away. And uh, we have to be able to respond based on um, you know, what we gather early in the game. When they defend, uh, choose to defend receivers, are you noticing it more like typical bracket coverage or is it kind of that New England influence where they're you know, dedicating two guys in man coverage? Um, very much a variety, and I think that's what they do well, is that you can't really um, say this is what they do. Um, you know, sometimes it's a safety... Uh, in single high shading a certain way. Um, sometimes it's truly a double team. You know, you saw that on Zach Ertz a little bit, where it's down in the box, two guys knocking him off at the line of scrimmage and what you would think of when you think of a true double team. Um, and, you know, who they double, when they choose to do that, you know, can be very situational. Um, and so it, the key is to understand the variety of what they'll bring and then be able to react to it as they bring it because it, it isn't predictable enough to to really know, hey, this is what they're gonna do in this situation. Kirk, what does the presence of a running game like you have do to a team's tendency that they may want to devote that kind of attention to digs with you on? Um, you know, I think it is such a complimentary game and um, every defense we play this year will be vastly different and they're going to probably have a different philosophy on what needs to be stopped or taken away. And we don't know that until we line up. And so there's a level of, hey, let's let's play, you know, early in the game and get a feel for what they're wanting to do and what kind of a game they're wanting to make this, and then let's be ready to react accordingly. And so all week long, you prepare knowing that, hey, this set of plays may not even get dialed if we get into a game where they're not gonna work, and vice versa. If they're gonna take away this other piece of our offense over here, we've gotta be ready to run all these plays. And so you have to prepare for a lot, knowing that not everything's going to get called uh, or work well. But uh, when you can run the football well, um, you know, execute play action, execute screens, uh, you can protect in the drop back game, you can have guys get open versus man coverage. I mean, now you're starting to have success in a lot of different areas. And that's when you start to say, hey, this team is tough to defend. Uh, we're trying to become an offense that people will say that, but uh, we've got to go out and prove it every week with how successful we are in a bunch of different uh, you know, types of offense. The uh, success of it, legs. What do you like about the pet play when you're rolling out? How does that help? Yeah, I think uh, you know we've had success with that going back to last year. I think it was pretty effective. Um, you know, and, and again, it's something that defenses can take away, and if they do, you can't. Uh, you can't you know, expect to have it, and you have to move on because it, it can be a very negative play too. I mean, if, if, uh, if they play it right, you can you know, be sacked, you can um, come out of the fake and have a problem. So um, you know, what it gives us though is the ability to you know, have an answer to your outside zone or your run game to have a complement to that where teams can't just load up to stop that outside zone. They have to understand that there's a possibility that, that there's a pass play coming back the other way. Gives you a chance to move the pocket so that the pass rush can't just pin their ears back and rush to a spot in, in between the uh, the line. They have to understand that you can throw from different places on the field, and it gives different routes for the receivers for DBs to have to defend, knowing that hey, uh, you know he could take me all the way across the field here if we they run a bootleg. And then it gives you the chance for some explosives as you've seen. We have some ability to you know go down the field more. So I think all of those pieces combine to give you a lot of variables. But just like that. We have to be very aware of a defense who says, hey, we're going to stop that, and then say, hey, if they're going to take away that, then what are our answers and response? Well, spiking the 